two. Hey Trinity Fitness, my name is Josh Palmisano. I'm the facility director at Trinity Fitness Beachside. Trinity Fitness is a faith-based, Christ-centered gym whose vision is healthy people inside and out in every community across America. I have a quick Devo for you today. With everything that has been going on in our world with the coronavirus and all the chaos that that is bringing, that uh, there has been a question that has surfaced, a question that I've seen on social media and a question I have seen from warriors at Beachside asking this, is this the end? Are these the end times that we are living in? And here's the answer to that question. I don't know. I don't know if this is the end. And in fact, Jesus is disciples, the ones who walked closest with Jesus when he was on earth, asked him that very same question. This is an appropriate question to ask. What are the signs of the end? And Jesus answers them. In Matthew 24, Jesus begins to answer this question saying there's going to be uh, wars and rumors of wars. There's going to be kingdom against kingdom and nation against nation. And there's going to be famines and pestilence. And there's going to be uh, just brutal times to come. Jesus talks about how uh, sin is going to grow rampant and the love of many are going to grow, going to grow cold. And, and we see these. These are the things that we are seeing all around us. These things we have seen in 2020 alone. But Jesus says, don't be troubled. This is just the beginning. And he goes on to continue to answer the disciples' questions. And he leaves them with this. He says in Matthew 24, 44, he says, Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Jesus says his return, the signs of the end, coming at an hour no one knows, but our command is to be ready. And I want to ask you guys that question. Are you ready? Are you ready to meet the creator and judge of your life, Jesus? Either we die and we go meet Jesus or he is going to come back again for us one day. And are we ready? Are we prepared for that moment? Are we prepared for eternity? And Jesus urges us and warns us to have a heart and a mind of expectancy, to have a mind of urgency. You see, Peter, James, and, and John, the ones who walk closest with Jesus, give us more insight on what it means to be ready. How can we be ready in our lives, ready to meet Jesus one day? They say to be alert, to be sober-minded, to be watchful, to not grow lazy or passive, or to not get entangled with the things of this earth. Rather, have our, have our minds set on things above. Focus on uh, Jesus, focusing on him and not the things of this world. How can we do that best? Jesus gives us an answer to this question. Uh, when he's actually praying for us, he says, uh, Father, for eternal life is to know him. He's saying eternal life is to know the one true God and to know Jesus Christ whom he sent. And I want to ask you guys that question. Do you know him? Do you, do you know who Jesus is? Do you know who your Savior is? Or have you gotten caught up in the things of this world? Are you walking with him today? Are you living in a way where you are ready to meet him? Because it is so easy to get entangled with the things of this world. But my friends, let us stay focused. Let us stay focused on, uh, on knowing God and walking with him closely. And I want to leave you with that challenge. Are you ready? Are you living in a, a way where you are prepared to meet him one day? That's my challenge for you guys today. Let's pray and you guys can get into your battle. So Lord, we, we thank you that you are coming again for us one day. And we thank you that we are going to meet you. And I pray that we would be ready, that we would have hearts of expectancy, ready to meet you face to face. Lord, help us not to grow lazy or passive, but give us the strength to not grow weary and keep uh, fighting on pressing into you each more uh, every day. God, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen.